Hello guys and welcome to Matt's Bima. This is a quick video, well a quick story, about the car which saved my dad's life. So back in the 1990s, the early 1990s, my dad used to have a 1989 535 ISC which is, which was the um, top of the range E34 5 series, not included in the Alpinas and the M5s but it was before the 540 came out. I know nowadays you have like the 550s and all that kind of stuff. But um, this E34 was in silver with silver leather seats, it had a telephone and I just thought it was amazing. I loved my dad's first BMW back when I was 3 or 4 years old and that was a E23 735i. Um, and um, though I love that car and I love, I love that car so much, it was the E34 which made me realise how modern a car could be because compared to the other cars at the time, they all seem dated and behind in technology, but this E34 was just amazing. It was the first car that I'd been in with a telephone. Um, yeah, <laughs> anyway, uh, one cold winter's night it was raining very hard and my dad had to drop his lorry off back at the depot where um, he stored his lorry. Uh, my father used to have a steel erecting company um, doing, uh, putting up steel buildings for people like Paul McCartney and Andy Cole, I think he was a footballer or something for Manchester United and married to that uh, northern singer Cheryl Cole, I think her name's Cheryl Cole, I can't remember. But anyway, um, he dropped his lawyer at the depot and um, he ha he sat there, he, he jumped out the lorry, started the BMW up and let it um, warm up and the windows clear and all that sort of stuff while also taking down the techo readings like you know all the paperwork you have to do with the lorries um, anyway my father jumped into the car got comfortable and slowly set off home uh, being careful of deers and all that kind of stuff there's always loads of animals um, where I used to live um, I used to live in a town called Upfield and um, this this place I'm talking about is near a big massive mansion which, which is, looks like it's been abandoned but it's not but the owner is um, someone called Hoostraten anyway he was driving past this mansion um, at 30 miles an hour going across the crossroad where no one was about and all of a sudden um, when my dad was over halfway across the junction this little uh, Mark 1 Ford Fiesta smacked my dad's car right in the side well the rear quarter on um, the passenger side and the E34 span I think once or twice and um, smacked straight into this um, six foot wide um, tree there was a pine tree or oak tree I'm not sure but it was a tree and um, when the car hit the actual tree luckily it went front first and um, luckily the tree was wide as well um, the engine was pushed back a little bit the um, wings were pushed, wrapped around the engine and the um, the dashboard had moved as well slightly and obviously the windows cracked and um, yeah um, my dad had to kick his way out of the front door because obviously um, it was quite a hard smack the door nearest the accident which was hit by the Fiesta um, could still open easily so it does prove how strong these cars are and you can get out safely if it's not too fatal uh, but anyway he jumped out, he got out of the car called the police um, on his telephone in his car um, and basically um, yeah my dad was basically okay I think he had whiplash but the person in the Mark 1 Ford Fiesta was also very lucky he had like some small injuries but the car that he was in was completely mullered it was knackered but um, yeah, since that day it cemented my love for the brand even more, that it saved my father and um, the policeman even said to him, you were very lucky that you were in this car here, not some other car, otherwise you wouldn't be here today. So yeah, so due to this um, I would definitely <laughs> be buying my daughter a BMW for her first car. For me it doesn't matter about maintenance costs and all that kind of stuff, because I will do it myself anyway, but um, I just want to know that she's in something safe and obviously these old E34s now are still safe cars but not how not as safe as they used to be due to rust and that kind of stuff so I would like to get her something modern. 
What would you get your daughter or your son for their first car to keep them safe? Comment down below. Thank you so much and take care.